What was the key to turning things around in the second half and taking this into the Nuggets? I think our defense got a little bit better, um, and Kevin just took over, to be honest with you. Um, I think it was uh, like middle of that third quarter to the end of the game, he was exceptional. Um, but I think the defensive end, uh, loose balls, um, you know, Jermichael Green still got a lot of rebounds, but I think we cleaned it up. We played a little bit harder on that end, um, and it resulted in a win for us. What's the, what's the communication like with coaching staff teammates? Knowing everybody tells you, you know, how valuable you are to the team, um, but needed to come off the bench, you know, once again and provide that spark and ball handling for that second unit. Uh, for me, I just want to win. Um, Steve knows that. I think my teammates, uh, you know, they've known that. Um, so for me, that that's the main that's the main important thing for me. I don't really care about, you know, all that other stuff that, you know, doesn't really matter to me. But I, I just care about winning. Tonight we got it done, um, and you know, I came off the bench tonight, and, I, and it, it is what it is. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Chess, the first half defense sort of looked like the second defense the other night against the Thunder. So in these circumstances. With no Kyrie, you don't know how long uh, he's going to be out. What is the emotional impact for you guys of putting together a, a huge comeback like this and, and dominating the way you guys in the third quarter and then again down the stretch? Uh, we didn't give up. You know, I think our resilience was, you know, top of the line tonight. We could have easily said, you know, this isn't our night again. You know, they're shooting the lights out. But I think we came out, you know, in the second half. Um, we were determined to to play our best basketball. Um, and I think we got some you know some favorable rebounds. The ball bounced our way a couple times. Um, and we knocked down some shots and we got back in the game. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Karis, you know obviously a guy of, of Kevin's stature. When when he's able to to go off like he like he did tonight, does that have any type of impact on you specifically? And then can you see that have an impact on the team as a whole? Watch a guy like Kevin just get hit his stride the way he did. Absolutely. It makes everything easier, you know, because, you know, when Kevin's going like that, uh, they're going to start doubling and then everything else becomes wide open for us. I think you saw that in the second half. He did a great job of moving the ball, too. I think he had like 13 assists. Um, and that just came from making the right play. Um, and it's going to be like that. Kevin's going to get hot a lot of times. Um, they're going to send doubles at him. And, you know, we got to be ready to make plays. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Bruce was great. Bruce was great tonight. Um, he's another guy that, you know, just wants to win. He plays extremely hard, you know, on both ends of the floor. Um, and like you said, made some huge buckets down the stretch, two big floaters, uh, got some big rebounds, played tough defense all night on Jamal Murray. Um, but, you know, that's what we're going to need from him, and that's what he brings to the, to the table every night. Steve Lichtenstein with WFAN. Hi, uh, Kenneth. I was just following up on uh, Bruce the, with the challenge that he had with Jamal. What uh, does he do well that made him successful or relatively successful against such a great player? Um, he plays hard. You know, he doesn't take any possessions off. Um, I think, you know, as a lead guard, somebody on another team, I think going against Bruce is tough because um, he brings the same intensity every single play. You know, he's, he doesn't really get tired. He doesn't take plays off and he's physical. Um, and that wears on you, you know, for a full 48 minutes, that wears on you. Somebody, you know, breathing down your neck, guarding you full court for a full game, that definitely, that, that takes a little bit out of you on the other end as well. So, um, you know, guys like Bruce are, are definitely tough to play against. Back to Michael Grady with Yes Network. Uh, you scored, you know, over 20 points again for the fifth straight game. That's a, a new career-long streak for you. Um, what would you, you know, attribute the way you're seeing the game to and the way that you're able to, um, you know, execute uh, once again at just a high level? Obviously, we've seen your growth. How are you seeing the game right now? I think it's slowing down for me. You know, I've I've been in the league now for this is my fifth year. I'm getting old. Um, but I think just, you know, experience, watching film, playing with really good players, um, I think, you know, playing for really good coaches as well, it all um, takes effect and it all, you know, um, contributes to, you know, five straight 20 point games or whatever you said it was. But I mean, just the development that I've had since I've got here for sure. And last question, we'll go back to Christian Winfield with the Daily News. Hey, Kara, Steve said, you know, that 
this was a great win because he felt like you guys needed this for your soul. Those guys are always like, we need this for our soul. Do you kind of agree with that? And would you would you agree with the assertion that it's been a little bit heavy maybe in the organization or just as a team over these last few games? <clears throat> Definitely. When you get a win like this, you know, we've been searching for a win like this. We've been in close games. We didn't lost close games. Um, you know, we were in Memphis. We came back and we lost that one at the end. So I think, you know, games like this are huge for just confidence. Um, and just for the fight that we had tonight, just to know that we can win these type of games, um, I think it's always good for your mindset.